the London Shield Award, which actually was awarded to the team in Walhalla in 1912 for being the best urban fire brigade in the country. So great community spirit down here, and we're going to show that off with a little bit of a musical performance in the next little while, Forto. Thank you very much, Emma. Appreciate it. Earlier we spoke to the new, new, relatively new boss of Asada, Ben McDevitt, about the news that 34 Essendon players have been served legal notices from Asada after doping allegations. The Bombers are vowing to fight back, and now we're joined by a lawyer who has advised both Essendon and the NRL's Cronulla Sharks in the past on these matters, Martin Hardy. Martin, good morning to you. What do you make about this latest development? Good morning. Um, well, the first thing to be clear is that the show cause notices are, are letters which are asking the Essendon players to put in submissions to the anti-doping rule violation panel of ASADA. And once the panel considers these letters, it will make a decision. And that decision, according to the federal court, is a mere assertion of a possibility of doping. So it's not even an allegation of doping at this point. Um, it's a very low-level part of the process. It's the beginning of the process. And if it goes ahead, we can see it dragging out in terms of a hearing for the next year or so, I would suspect, possibly longer. I would think, however, that that's not the next step. The um, joint investigation by the AFL and ASADA is very, it's very doubtful whether it's in accordance with the ASADA Act and the, and the law as it stands. There's no power for ASADA to conduct a joint investigation with the AFL. Mm. And I would hope and um, I, I believe that we should see in the, ne in the coming days uh, federal court action commence to um, challenge the validity of the investigation itself. So just confirming that, you think that there will be federal court action launched in coming days? I would, I would, um, I think if the, the club's serious about protecting the players and its support staff, it's got no alternative. The, there's no basis for the investigation in law and somebody needs to keep the government within power. Martin, I think most people recognise the fact that if, if people are cheating in sport, then we'd like something to be done about it. But 16 months on, I mean, you have a think about what this does to the industry itself, because these are businesses and you, we're restricting their ability to attract sponsors and to be able to attract future players, because if you're the Cronulla Sharks or if you're the Essendon Bombers, then any potential player, any potential sponsor knows that there's a cloud hanging over your head. Well, the AFL have mishandled this from the beginning, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the whole procedure up until the final hearing before an AFL tribunal should be, according to the law, kept confidential. So everything we've read for the past year in the media has been leaked in breach of the Asada Act, and those leaks carry two years jail. It's about time that the government got serious about pursuing those leaks, which I've got good evidence comes from within Asada, some of them, and to date uh, nothing's been done about them. If the process was carried out in according to law, we wouldn't be having this media circus and the players and the support people would be able to defend themselves in the way that the law says that they should be able to defend themselves. Uh, ben McDevitt, when I spoke to him earlier this morning on this program, couldn't even guarantee when this thing will wrap up. I mean, by the steps ahead that he was running through, it sounds like it'll go into 2015 if they have their way. Oh, 2015 at least, I would have thought. I think this is, as Stephen Dank said um, earlier in the year, uh, 20, 2014 will be a worse year for the AFL than 2013 um, was, and I suspect so will 2015. The AFL thought that they could manage this from the outset. They tried to work with the ASADA to conduct an investigation outside of the law, and it's backfired. Um, and it's you know, the whole purpose of having ASADA is to have these things done quietly and independently of sporting bodies, and that hasn't occurred, and that's why we have the mess. Martin, we benefit from your expertise. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Martin Hardy, a lawyer who has worked uh, with both Essendon and Cronulla on this uh, doping scandal. Carl, Lisa? Thank you very much for that, Ben. Well, if you've been to the supermarket lately, you'll know that between free-range, cage-free and barn-laid, eggs can be very confusing, fueling calls for nationwide consistency on labelling. Consumer advocate Christopher